plastic bag kite. You'll need a plastic bag, some straws, some scissors, some tape, a pen, and some light string. I use floss. First, you'll need a frame. If you have bendy straws, cut the bendy ends off. You'll need four straws for the vertical piece, what's called your spine, and you'll need three straws for what's called your spar, the cross piece. To fit one straw into the other, you pinch the end a little, making an indentation, allowing you to put it up inside. Once you've got four together, tape the connections. Great, now put the other three together and tape the connections. When you're setting up your frame, make sure you have more distance here than here. Awesome, your frame's done. Alright, now for your sail. Lay down your plastic bag. You're going to cut the ends here and here, which will let it open up and become big enough for your frame. Cut these ends off. And then cut the bag here to open it up. Great, now lay out the bag and put your frame on it. Now we're going to trace the kite shape, using your frame as the guide. Mark the bottom left corner outside the kite shape as your keel, and mark a line here. This is a part that will be used to stabilize your kite frame later. Cut, cut, cut! Now it's time to attach your frame to the sail. Tape down your spar here and here, leaving some space here at the edge to tie onto later. Put a big piece of tape to reinforce the middle. Use a couple long pieces along here to tape down the entire spar. Now you're going to want to tape the keel to your spine. The layout goes like this. Tape it here at the edges and then tape it lengthwise down. Now tape this whole piece down here at the edges. And tape it lengthwise on both sides, making sure it's real sturdy. This will help prevent your spine from buckling in strong winds. Now you're going to attach your first piece of string. It's a piece called your bridle, and it holds the keel to the main line. Take your floss and cut a piece that's about this much longer than your kite. You'll need to tie your bridle string on the left and right sides of your spar. It wants to connect at the tip of the keel, so you have to measure as you're tying. This part can be pretty tricky. Use these dimensions as a rough guide while tying it down. Then pull up your bridle and your keel to make sure you've got a good fit. If it's not right, retie it. When it seems well fitted, tape down the connections. Now you're going to connect your main real line with the bridle line. Pull it taut in the middle to find the center. Then tie one string around the other. Now, pull your keel up to meet the new connection and tape it where all the points meet. Alright, now you'll want to get your main line around a reel instead of inside this floss container so you can wind it up. Roll up your line around your pencil. This will make a perfect reel. Now I do some tape reinforcements. We're using really light materials, and they can buckle in high winds. The more you tape the frame to the sail, the sturdier it will be.
Now you'll need a tail. This helps stabilize the kite. Cut some long strips from whatever's left of your bag. Three or four will be alright. And tie them together like this. Then tape one of the ends to the bottom point of your kite. Awesome, this kite's looking ready to sail. May the winds be with you.